Good morning, folks and family. It's 9.52 a.m. on March 2nd, 2020, on a Monday morning. So it's 9.52 a.m., March 2nd, Monday morning. How are you all doing today? This is Raymond X, the Prophet, coming to you live in Sunny Ocala, Florida. This is the Word for Day, Part 3, for February 17th, 2020. Once again, this is the Word for Day, Part 3, for February 17th, 2020. Let's go ahead and get into the Word of God today. And the first journal entry I have for you is at 7.50 p.m. on February 16th, 2020. And this is the message I've received. Today's troubles are sufficient. Today's troubles are sufficient. This is Jesus speaking. And it's found in these two books of the Bible. The first one is Matthew chapter 6, verse 34. The second one is Philippians 4, verses 6 and 7. So let's go to the book of Matthew chapter 6, verse 34. Matthew 6 and 34, Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 through 7. Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 through 7. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all, surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. The next journal entry I have for you is at 7.52 p.m., February 16, 2020. Once again, this is Jesus speaking. Did you not know I could call down twelve legions of angels, and they would appear at my command? This is Jesus speaking. And it's found in this book of the Bible, Matthew, once again, chapter 26, verses 47 through 56, key verse 53. Matthew 26, verses 47 through 46. 47, Matthew chapter 26, verses 47 through 56. And while he was still speaking, behold, Judas, one of the twelve, with a great multitude with swords and clubs, came from the chief priests and elders of the people. Now his betrayer had given them a sign, saying, Whom are I kiss? He is the one. Seize him. Immediately he went up to Jesus and said, Greetings, Rabbi, and kissed him. But Jesus said to him, Friend, why have you come? Then they came and laid hands on Jesus and took him. And suddenly one of those who were Jesus stretched out his hand, and drew his sword, struck the servant of the high priest, and cut off his ear. But Jesus said to him, Put your sword in its place, for all who take the sword will perish by the sword. Or do you think I cannot now pray to my Father, and he will provide me with more than twelve legions of angels? How then could the scriptures be fulfilled that it must happen thus? In that hour Jesus said to the multitudes, Have you come out as against a robber, robber with swords and clubs to take me? I sat daily with you, teaching in the temple. And he did not seize me. But all this was done that the scriptures of the prophets might be fulfilled. Then all the disciples forsook him and fled. The next journal entry is at 7.53 p.m. February 16, 2020. And here we have a kid's song. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. That's a kid's song. I'll post the link to that in the description box below. And here we have some psalms to go along with that. Psalm 146, verses 1 through 2 and verse 10. Psalm 147, verses 1, 7, 12, and 20. Psalm 148, verses 1 through 14. Psalm 49, verses 1, 3, 9. And finally, Psalm 150, verses 1 through 6. And Psalm 113, verses 1 and 2. So, let's go ahead and go to Psalm. Let's pick one here. Psalm 113, verses 1 and 2. Psalm 113, verses 1 and 2. Praise the Lord. Praise the servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. Psalm 146, verses 1 through 2 and verse 10. Psalm 146, verses 1 through 2. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord on my soul. While I live, I will praise the Lord. I will sing praises to my God while I have my being. Psalm 146, verse 10. The Lord shall reign forever, your God, O Zion, to all generations. Praise the Lord. Psalm 147, verses 1, 7, 12, and 20. Psalm 147, verse 1. Praise the Lord, for it is good to sing praises to our God, for it is pleasant, and the praise is beautiful. Psalm 147, verse 7. Sing to the Lord with thanksgiving, sing praises on the harp to our God. Psalm 147, verse 12. Praise the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion. Psalm 147, verse 20. He has not dealt thus with any nation, and as for his judgments, 
they have not known them. Praise the Lord. Psalm 148, verses 1 through 14. Psalm 148, verses 1 through 14. Praise to the Lord from creation. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the heights. Praise Him, all His angels. Praise Him, all His hosts. Praise Him, sun and moon. Praise Him, all you stars of light. Praise Him, you heavens of heavens, and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for He commanded and they were created. He also established them forever and ever. He made a decree which shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth. You great sea creatures and all the depths, fire and hail and snow and clouds, stormy wind fulfilling his word, mountains and all hills, fruitful trees and all cedars, beasts and all cattle, creeping things and flying fowl, kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all judges of the earth, both young men and maidens, old men and children. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name is alone is exalted, his glory is above the earth and heaven. And he has exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, of the children of Israel, a people near him. Praise the Lord. Psalm 149, verses 1, 3, and 9. Psalm 149, verse 1. Praise the Lord. Sing to the Lord a new song, and his praise in the assembly of saints. Psalm 149, verse 3. Let them praise his name with a dance. Let them sing praises to him. With the timbrel and harp. Psalm 149, verse 9. To execute on them the written judgment, this honor have all his saints. Praise the Lord. Psalm 150, verses 1 through 6. Psalm 150, 1 through 6. Let all things praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty firmament. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise Him according to His excellent greatness. Praise Him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise Him with the lute and harp. Praise Him with the temple and dance. Praise Him with string instruments and flutes. Praise Him with loud cymbals. Praise Him with clashing cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Okay, folks and family, the next journal entry I have for you is at 7.54 p.m., February 16, 2020. The splendor and wonder of His Majesty. The splendor and wonders of His Majesty. Psalm 145, verses 1 through 21, key verse 5. Psalm 96, verses 1 through 13, key verse 6. Exodus, chapter 15, verses 6 through 7, and verse 11. Deuteronomy, chapter 9, verse 26. Deuteronomy, chapter 11, verse 2 through 3. Deuteronomy, Chapter 33, verses 26 and 27. First Chronicles, chapter 16, verses 27 and 29. Second Chronicles, chapter 20, verse 6. And finally, the book of Job, chapter 37, verse 22. Exodus, chapter 15, verses 6 and 7 and 11. Exodus 15, verses 6 and 7. Exodus 15, verses 6 and 7. Your right hand, O Lord, has become glorious in power. Your right hand, O Lord, has dashed the enemy in pieces. In the greatness of your excellence, you have overthrown those who rose against you. You sent forth your wrath and consumed them like stubble. Deuteronomy chapter 9, verse 26. Deuteronomy chapter 9, verse 26. Therefore I prayed to the Lord and said, O Lord God, do not destroy your people and your inheritance, whom you have redeemed through your greatness, whom you have brought out of Egypt with a mighty hand. Deuteronomy chapter 11, verses 2 and 3. Deuteronomy 11, 2 and 3. Know today that I not speak with your children, who have not known and who have not seen the chastening of the Lord your God, His greatness and His mighty hand and His outstretched arm, His signs and His acts, which He did in the midst of Egypt, to Pharaoh king of Egypt, and to all His land. Deuteronomy chapter 33, verses 26 and 27. Deuteronomy 33, verses 26 and 27. There is no one like the God of Jerusalem who rides the heavens to help you. And His Excellency is on the clouds. The eternal God is your refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms. He will thrust out the enemy before you and will say, Destroy. 1 Chronicles chapter 16, verses 27 and 29. 1 Chronicles 
chapter 16, verse 27. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and gladness are in his place. First Chronicles 16, verse 29. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come before him. O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Second Chronicles, chapter 20, verse 6. Second Chronicles 20 and 6. And said, O Lord, God of our fathers, are you not God in the heaven? And do you not rule over all the kingdoms of the nations? And in your hand is there not power and might, so that no one is able to withstand you? The book of Job, chapter 37, verse 22. Job 37, 22. He comes from the north as golden splendor, with God as awesome majesty. Psalm 96, verses 1 through 13. Psalm 96, verses 1 through 13. A song of praise to God coming in judgment. O oh, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, his wonders among all peoples. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is feared above all gods. For all the gods of the people are idols. For the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Give to the Lord, O families of the peoples. Give to the Lord glory and strength. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Tremble before him all the earth. Sing among the nations the Lord reigns. The world is also firmly established and shall not be moved. He shall judge the peoples righteously. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea roar in all its fullness. Let the field be joyful and all that is in it. Then all the trees of the woods will rejoice before the Lord. For he is coming, for he is coming to judge the earth. He shall judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with his truth. Psalm 145, verses 1 through 21. Psalm 145, verses 1 through 21. A song of God's majesty and love. A praise of David. I will extol you, my God, O King, and I will bless your name forever and ever. Every day I will bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall praise your works to another, and shall declare your mighty acts. I will meditate on the glorious splendor of your majesty, and on your wondrous works. Men shall speak of the might of your awesome acts, and I will declare your greatness. They shall utter the memory of your great goodness, and shall sing of your righteousness. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and great in mercy. The Lord is good to all, and his tender mercies are all over his works. All your works shall praise you, O Lord, and your saints shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom, and talk of your power, to make known to the sons of men his mighty acts, and the glorious majesty of his kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and your dominion endures throughout all generations. The Lord upholds all who fall, and raises up all who are bowed down. The eyes of all look expecting to you, and you give them food. You give them their food in their due season. You open your hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing. The Lord is righteous to all his ways, gracious in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him. To all who call upon him in truth, he will desire, he will fulfill the desire of those who fear him. He also will hear their cry and save them. The Lord preserves all who love him, but all the wicked he will destroy. My mouth shall praise, my mouth shall speak the praise of the Lord, and all flesh shall bless his holy name forever and ever. All right, the Spotify worship song I have for you is by the group Elevation Worship, and the name of the song is. Hallelujah here below. So this is Hallelujah here below by Elevation Worship. So I'll post a link to that in the description box below. And I'll also post the YouTube link to the video so you can listen to the music. The next journal entry I have for you is at 7.57 p.m. February 16, 2020. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we were healed. This is found in the book of Isaiah, chapter 53, verses 5 through 8, key verse 5. Isaiah 53, verses 5 through 8. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for iniquities. 
The chastisement for our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way, and the Lord has laid upon him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He was led as a slam to the slaughter. He was led as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before its shearers is silent. So he opened not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment. And who will declare his generation? For he was cut off from the land of the living. For the transgressions of my people, he was stricken. The next journal entry I have for you is at 7.59 p.m., February 16, 2020. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. This is Jesus speaking once again. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And this is found in the book of First John, chapter 4, verses 1 through 6, key verse 4. First John 4, verses 1 through 6. Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits, for they are of God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. By this you know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God, and every spirit that does not confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard was coming and is now already in the world. You are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because he who is he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. They are of the world, therefore they speak as if the world, and the world hears them. We are of God. He knows who God hears us. He who is not of God does not hear us. By this we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Okay, the last journal entry I have for you is at 8.01 p.m., February 16, 2020. May the grace of Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. This is found in the book of uh, Philippians, chapter 4, verse 23. And finally, the book of Revelations, chapter 22, verse 21. So let's go to the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verse 23. Philippians 4 and 23, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Revelation chapter 22, verse 21. The final verse of the Bible of the New Testament. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Revelation chapter 22, verse 21. The Spotify worship song I have for you this time around is by Mac Brock. It's called Christ is Risen, Mac Brock, Christ is Risen, and I'll post a link to that in the Spotify web app link in the description box below, and I'll also post the YouTube link to the video as well. Okay, folks and family, that's it. That's, that's the Word for Day Part 3 for February 17, 2020. Once again, this is the Word for Day Part 3 for February 17, 2020. Thank you very much for your 19 minutes of time. Very valuable indeed. Any time spent with God is, well, is time well spent. So time spent with Jesus is time well spent. And you'll be rewarded for it. God bless you on everything you do. Take care of yourselves. Remember, Jesus is coming soon, very soon. And so is the judgment. Keep that in mind. Jesus is coming soon. This is your day of salvation. This is your day of repentance. This is your day to make it right with God. God loves you and so do I very much. Take care of yourselves. Have a blessed Monday morning. I love you all very much, and I'll talk to you later on the next video upload, Lord willing. Bye-bye for now. Take care.